just gonna start. Okay, cool. Hey. Hey. <laughs> What's good? It's episode twenty nine. Is it really? It is. It is. It is. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, I looked it up this time. Oh wow! You were prepared. I was. I was. Oh, Believe wow. it or not. That's a first, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Lady and gentlemen. Whoever, like that, I got two people that watch it. Yeah. One of them just keeps on background noise as her kids are running around the house tearing shit up. Well, you know, I appreciate being that background noise. I know, right? Our voices are so. Well, mine's majestic. Yours is just. It's something. Mine, mine's the calming, soothing thing. You know, kind of like a a younger Morgan Freeman. <laughs> That's a bit stretching the truth, but okay. Wow, so, that's something. what would you what would you say is our uh, doomsday rating? Who doomsday rating is? Yeah, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let you give the rating this time. Oh, you're gonna let me give the rating. Oh, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Wow, just put it on the spot like that. Yeah. Uh, so is... you know some of the topics. So you know, rate it right. Don't don't overdo it. It's uh let's see a bombshell. Okay. So so just just a singular one that's falling? No, like multiple. Like a good like a good 20 bombshells falling. Uh, okay. And is this on like a populated city or like a this rural, is on rural a, area? No. <laughs> no. Let's, let me rephrase that. A populated city falling as the people are running around hitting land. <laughs> that's, that's pretty destructive. I mean, a little bit. But it's only in like one section of a larger city. Right. So that it was like able to like block off the rest of it so there was no other casualties kind of thing? Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. So it's like somewhat of a big deal, but not really on the larger scope of things. Right. But it's a big enough deal to that community. You know what I mean? Right. Those Those... Groups of people. Yes. Well, you know, hopefully they'll they'll get better. I'm sure someone will set up a charity. <laughs> totally, totally. Everybody will. That one person will set up a charity. His name is Bob. He, Bob will save the day and set up a charity. Poor Bob. <laughs> it's all up to Bob. He has a lot of work ahead of him. <laughs> True. So, I what's mean, the first what, topic? Of with the day? that, I mean, I'll start off with the worst thing that. That What's I had, that? you know, get get the landmines out of the way there. Yep, there you go. What, what it was it? so. You remember the the movie Escape Plan? Escape Plan. Yeah. Starring who? Starring uh, Rocky Balboa. Maybe <laughs> I don't because I don't remember his his actor name. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, what about Sylvester it? Stallone? Yeah. Yeah, I know you're talking about. What about it? Well, so apparently there was a second one made, right? Yeah. Well, I didn't know that, so I found it, watched it, because I was like, okay, you know, the first one was pretty good. Oh, no. Why? Well, the second one wasn't as good. (laughs) Shocker! Yeah, believe it or not. How bad bad are we talking? So, it kind of throws you in where there's... Group of new people, uh, they're kind of they kind of throw around the time where thing where events happen. Okay. And so, like, you can put it together, you know, after going through some of the movie. Yeah. But it doesn't help you in the beginning. On top of it, really, the worst thing was there, there's two distinct moments where there are CGI effects used. Okay. And they were really bad. Like, how bad? Like, like give me like, an example of how bad. Like, in the beginning of the movie, they're escaping from an area, and the building blows up, so there's fire and stuff. Yeah. This, this was, like, stock fire effects. Oh, God. Yeah. Like, stock fire effects done badly? Like, I can see the fire sitting, like, I can see the fire sitting on top of that layer. Put on oh, top God. of and kind of kind of thing. That, yeah, I was I sat there. That was my biggest issue through the whole movie. 
was, was that was that because I was just every time every time I had a moment I'd go back going why did that effect look so bad? And that's called an editor getting lazy. Well, because the rest of it, I I don't know, maybe they blew their budget on the on the rest of the movie because <laughs> well because it wasn't just like a normal prison. This was like future prison with AIs and energy light doors. Uh-huh. Like, you know, like hard light energy kind of stuff. Okay. Like they had that for like their doors and like this prison was like super freaking sci-fi and fancy. Mhm. I don't I don't know. Maybe that's where all the budget went to. I guess. So like when you get when you get through it, it had a good enough concept and in parts, but it just it kept throwing getting thrown around and it was it was very much the the good guy winning in the end kind of thing. Uh-huh. And you, and you just kind of hoped for more, but Ew. This, yeah, yeah, from from, from from a big from a like someone like Sylvester Stallone and people who put, you know, their name and effort into it. It, it didn't yeah. feel like the first one was really good compared to this one. Um, I see. I see. Though a saving grace was, ah, frick, I, I'm trying to remember his name now. Uh, Dave Bautista. Yeah. He was in that movie, and he was amazing. I mean, Dave Bautista is always amazing. Yeah, so that that worked really well. That's good. Apparently, Fifty Cent was in the movie, and I mean, I don't, I don't yes. know him by. I mean, I guess like. Yeah, looking back on it now, I can see that, but I, I didn't know him by face. <laughs> he was fine. Like, the acting wasn't the bad part. It was... Everything else. How, yeah, it was like how it was put together and some of the effects. Because, uh, I don't know, it just it didn't... I'm telling you, some of the CGI was not as it high as it should have been. Yeah. So that was the worst thing. That's... Uh, that that's your initial bombshell hit. Get get that out of the way. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna go. On. Now now it's kind of more about picking up the pieces. <clears throat> and as another bombshell drops, or you land on landmine. No, this was a landmine. But when you're going around picking up the pieces, so Toys R Us is not out of the woods yet. Well, I mean, kind of. Yes and no. Sure, sure. But Amazon seems like they're going to be picking up uh, some of the parts where Toys R Us leaves off by working with their end-of-the-year catalog. Basically, kids, you go to Amazon to buy your, all your toy shit. Yeah. I mean, people are going to go there anyway. Are, are you a Toys R Us kid? Not really. Uh, let's see. I could never afford... My family could never afford Toys R Us when I was a kid anyway, so... Not really. Everything was too expensive. The law, something about selling off intellectual properties. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's... I guess kind of the same thing the way anything goes. They they go down. Companies come in to pick up the pieces. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't surprised Amazon came in. And like, we're going to do it because we want money. Yeah, I mean, the CEO or owner, whoever, of Amazon just became the richest person in modern history. And yet his company is going on a strike. Yeah, the multi-billion dollar uh, frick, what is it called? What, corporation? <laughs> no, the, the person. Oh. CEO? I don't, I don't know what you're talking no. about. Uh, the... Like, Jeez. 
talking about the guy himself? Because I don't know what the hell you're talking about. The, the, the term, the word. Uh, for for how, how much he's worth. It's a lot of money. You don't need to look up the term. I want the term, though. I don't. <laughs> net worth. His net worth. Oh, his net worth, yeah. Yes. Um, and net worth, kids, is when it's not just your money, but it's all your assets and everything mm-hmm. you own. All compiled Everything together. that could be liquidated. Yep. Um, let me see if I can get a number here. Blah, 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 blah. Basically, a lot. There's a a shit ton of money. There's definitely a few dollars in there. A few dollars, but like maybe like uh, a, a couple what, zeros. Wikipedia tells me his net worth is 151 <laughs> billion dollars. That's a couple zeros. It's a few. Yeah, yeah. It's a few zeros in there. A few. So I mean, I don't know. I heard kind of the stuff about boycotting Prime Day. Yeah. I didn't I mean. really listen to that. Though there wasn't really <laughs> anything. You're like, you're like, I don't give a shit as you're on Amazon Amazon buying stuff for Prime Yeah, Day. I mean, there there wasn't anything for me to buy anyway. So. I don't even have Prime. I should, but I don't. Yeah, it's, it's helpful. I've learned my lesson from that. Uh, when I get my money, when I get some good money, yeah, I'm going to eventually do it. But... So. That was a another little itty bitty. That was an itty bitty bombshell. That, yeah, because you know, happened. Toys R Us gone, but yeah, uh, man, that was that was one of those things where uh, I was talking to a coworker not too long ago. And we were talking about the Toys R Us thing, so I'm like, uh, and, you know, then it's like it goes to Radio Shack. So I'm like, oh yeah, I, I used to I used to work at Toys R Us. They're like, really? I'm like, yeah, I also used to work at a Radio Shack. <laughs> They're like, oh my god, did you work at a Blockbuster? I'm like, no, no, they uh, they they closed down before I got into the workforce. <laughs> Except, wow, a segue though. Hey, that, that was a good segue. <laughs> segue for the last one, or it looks like it's an organ. Apparently, I don't know why they kept one open. Because it's not a. Uh, it's not a corporate owned one, it's a privately owned blockbuster. Oh, interesting. So they managed to keep it afloat because I believe it was Alaska closed down there too. So this is oh. the last blockbuster in the United States. Just close, no one goes to you anymore. Apparently enough people will go I kinda want it to stay open. It like by now it's kind of uh a weird relic that just needs to stay around just to be like, yep, there it is. True, and at the same time I kind of want to take a road trip to Oregon just to get inside of it. Like, see, now you just want to go there. You're right, you're right. Um, I, Keeping up the segues, you know what movies are at a blockbuster? What are not a blockbuster? Disney movies. Oh, man. Speaking of Disney movies, Speaking of Disney things, I saw this animation by this Disney animator. It was, okay. like, it was like the 2D. Yeah. It was for some like metal band. The fuck? I don't, know, I don't remember what. It's like the animator stopped working at Disney, but you know, he, he knew how to do it. It was a. I think the song was called Freak of the Week. Freak of the Week? Okay, let me. I'm going to look this up right Freak of the Week. Yeah. So, I don't know too much about the, like, the song. Oh, it, might, it, might okay. not be, it might not be everyone's cup of tea. Okay, but I got it. the animation was, you know, yeah. Disney. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, very much, yeah, I know. Yeah, I've seen this video. Pretty cool animation. Oh, yeah. No, the freaking... Time and effort to get good animation nowadays. Yeah, yeah. Also, speaking of Disney, back on the Disney Fox expiration of waiting for Disney to buy out Fox already. God damn it! 
Comcast. So before I get to Comcast, last week or the week before, uh, Fox shareholders were going to sue Disney. You may be asking, why? Because why? the shareholders think, oh, you're undervaluing Fox. We need more money. So they were going to sue Disney. I don't know if they actually still are, but some of the shareholders are suing Disney to, so they can get more money out of it because they think Fox is worth more. But guess when, what? When they Fox, get more money by Disney taking the the properties and making good things out of them? You would think. Like, wouldn't that well, make the stock go up? Yeah, you would think. But that's a stock that the shareholders won't have any say in. Disney will own it, and they'll be basically just given yeah. whatever cut they had before or what yeah. how the money how the socks oh uh, boo hoo i I didn't get enough out of that billion dollars to make me happy well, you know how much fox is in debt eighty like eighty million in debt that's like much, really how much do they get sold for like I think Disney's paying or gonna be paying like seventy some like seventy million up front and then like stock the rest. But so like, and that enough to bring them out of debt? Oh no, Disney's going to buy. Disney would buy the company for like seventy-two million plus stock, and they're also going to pay off the. On top of that, right. but they still, but some of the shareholders still want more. And I'm like, really? They're buying your debt. They're taking care of your damn debt because that's like penny change for Disney. Yeah. Really? It's so stupid. And going on Comcast. Apparently, Comcast gave up. <laughs> Just. Yeah, I mean, you, you can't fight. I mean, we kind of saw it. Like, I mean, you yeah, can't you, fight. You can't win always win. This is always going to win. But apparently, it's not likely that Comcast is going to counterbid Fox or if counterbid Dis- bid Disney. And I'm like, we all saw it coming. Yeah. Duh. Disney gets what Disney wants. Because all I mean, Comcast wanted was Sky. Well, so just it's like just selling that then. Oh no, Disney wants that too. That's the thing. Uh, Disney wants that too. That's a okay. big chunk of like European cable viewers and shit. So of course, right. so Disney wants that too. But I'm waiting, I'm waiting for the part where Disney gets in trouble for being too much of a monopoly. If they're going to do that, they would have done that by now. Oh, they were not drawn out. Happen. That, no, it's not, the government already approved it. Uh, the Justice Department already approved it, and now it's just waiting on shareholders to agree to it. Shareholders don't seem to want to agree to it, though. Well, I think it's some of them. I think a lot of them are like, yeah, and some are like, we're going for more money. Yeah, the uh, smart ones are like, all right, I can get away from this thing and just take my money and run. Yeah, but apparently some of the bad apples are just like, you know, give me my money. Don't be a bad apple. Sell your stocks. Sell your soul. What? Oh, uh, what? No, no. Oh, what? No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, what? Huh? Oh, oh, oh. What's that? <laughs> what? Who that? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I should get bought out by Disney? What? Oh, what? <laughs> We're going to take all your intellectual properties. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but what intellectual properties do we have? I do this on a Mac and a, and a um, blue snowball. What intellectual properties? <laughs> you want to take my we show? Have, okay. We, we have some intellectual properties. Like what? I've come up with things. Oh, okay. okay. Like what? Like what? You'll just have to subscribe and find out. I I follow I follow your segue and now I feel now I feel dirty for it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel real dirty for following that segue to give you that describe. That that's just that's terrible. That's yeah. terrible. Well, you know what else people got mad at for ending? And what's that? Was the was the Gwenpool series? Yes, and I'm one of those people. It's but I've heard like, from a probably reliable source. <laughs> probably reliable source? Well, it was a uh, was an old man who works at a comic book store. Uh-huh. So, I mean, 
seems pretty reliable. Okay. That Gwynpool would be coming back this September <laughs> as part of the West Coast Avengers. I'm checking the receipts. So. The West Coast Avengers reassemble with reassemble a new series starring Hawkeye. Z. Hawkeye's? Yeah, his, Hawkeye and his daughter. Uh, and Quinpool. There you go. Which I'm just like, um, yes, because Gwynpool is a Because Hawkeye's the best? No. So it's <sighs> Hawkeye, mm-hmm. Hawkeye, or his okay. daughter, Gwynpool, America Shan- uh, Sanchez, or Miss America, then you got, oh god, uh, what's his Okay, you got Clint, Fuse, I don't know who Fuse is, Kid Omega. Now, Kid Omega is a mutant, and he was once upon a time the host of the Phoenix back in the day. Okay. So you got, yeah, so you got two, both Hawkeyes, Fuse, which I guess is a new character, America Chavez. She couldn't even come up with her own superhero name? What? It just had oh. to be another Hawkeye. Well, he she replaced her dad after her dad died. I'm guessing in Civil War Two. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Gwen How Bull can he be America. dead if he's showing up with her? Well, he was dead because actually he wasn't dead. He retired or something. I don't know why. That was that was the Hulk. He got he died. Bruce Banner died, but now he's back. He got There's a lot in comic books. And and what? What month did you say the West Coast Avengers was being released? Uh, September. You liar! It's August. It's yeah, August twenty second. Oh, that's basically September. That's not even basically. That's basically September. No, it's not. That's like mid August. That's like towards the end of August. Or like yeah, towards late. the end of August. You know what happens at oh, the end of August? September. What? Oh wow! Gee Willikers, Brad. Yeah. Bard, what would I do without you? Gee, Willikers, you, you man. Would, you would get your months messed up. Wow. Wow. You learned it, you learned it here, folks. You learned it here first, folks. Yeah, she Augustus learned it here Caesar first, folks. is the reason why it's coming out in August. I hate you. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're the worst. <laughs> Yeah, with that fake ass laugh. So yeah, <laughs> what are you talking about? that's the realest laugh ever. Yeah. Okay. Totally. So and so is your robotic voice and the sanitation. Totally. Oh, sorry that I want to lead us on to something without just going uh every two seconds. Oh, don't start coming for me, there, boy. Don't come for me, okay? You know what? What? At least like, I'm sorry. Human. I want us to have a guy line. A guideline? Yeah. You said guideline. A guideline, you mean? A guideline. <laughs> That's what you said. No, girls allowed. I'm going to go drown myself. No, in... girls allowed. No, girls. I'm going to drown myself with a cap of water. Because apparently you can drown with a cap of water. You can do anything. As long as you set your mind to it. I'm just, I'm, I survived an accident with an 18-wheeler to sit here and listen to him make bad jokes. <laughs> sit here to make amazing jokes. Wow. You can get these jokes just off the street. You're right, because off the street would be better. That's what you would think. Oh. No, I'm pretty certain. I'm going to go hang out at this blockbuster now. I know, right? You want to take a road trip to Oregon? <laughs> like, why wouldn't you want to? It seems kind of, it seems like it'd be one of those situations where, uh, what is it? I'm trying to, I'm trying to find my page. There you are. Uh, that, I feel like they should change it to be like some cool hangout thing. I don't know. I, I'm assuming they would have new updates. Blu-rays and all that crap, and new games and new 
new systems. I'm assuming they're going to have, like, upgrades and shit. No, I still want the latest thing to be from, like, 2005. <laughs> I remember going to Blockbuster as a kid, like, a teenager, like, maybe 14 or... Mm-hmm. Somewhere between 14 and 16, and that's when I started watching horror movies, was I would pick them out at Blockbuster. It's because they were relying too many people to pay their uh, late fees. Oh, I know some people who had late fees. Hellish. And did Blockbuster ever come? See, if Blockbuster got every single late fee people owed, they would still be open right now. They would. But But they never go after you for late fees, really. They they needed a they needed like a department that would go to your house and kick in your door. Like we want that DVD or VHS or video game. We want all that money. Yeah, you know they're they're holding you down at gunpoint. They're grabbing the movie. They're making you rewind it because you know etiquette. <laughs> oh my god, rewind! Yeah, I remember that rule. Always rewind before you return. Yeah, got to make sure you rewind those DVDs. You know what I do as a kid? I would get those VHSs, and I would end it, stop it, right at the most inappropriate or very awkward point in the movie, mm-hmm. and I would just give it back. And I'd be like, here you go, blah, blah, like the next day. Right. Yeah. And I'm, ho- and I'm like, hey, 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 hey. And when the next person comes and takes it, they're going to start the movie with a really weird scene out of context. You don't think the workers there re- rewind it before they put it back? I don't think they do, do they? Did they? I don't know. Because half the time when I, wor- when I went there, they looked like they didn't want to be there. It, it was probably shit. <laughs> You're probably dealing with the, I mean, it's retail. Dealing with anything retail is going to suck. It doesn't matter if the place is nice or not. True. True. True that. True that. Trust me, I have my experience. I've had plenty of experience with retail. Uh, and speaking it's of terrible. movies, I have the worst news. What's that? So you know the debate about whether Die Hard is a Christmas movie or not? Yeah. So apparently there's this thing here where Bruce Willis says it is not a Christmas movie. But it is, though. But Bruce Willis said it isn't. I don't give a shit what Bruce Willis says. It's a Christmas movie that happens during Christmas. Like, all of them, right? Right? No? It's the first one? I yeah, I think it's just the first one. I mean, maybe the second one? But the I big part of the movie is happened during Christmas. Yeah. It's a Christmas movie. But like not a Christmas movie, as in that's its thing. It's a like a Christmas movie, like Rudolph or or something. Do you count Home Alone as a Christmas movie? Uh, technically, yeah, I could count Home but Alone. But Christmas, Christmas is not the main thing, though. It's about a kid being Home Alone. So what's the difference between that being a main storyline and then Die Hard, an action movie, but it's all during Christmas? So that's a Christmas movie. Because oh, Bruce Willis is an actor, uh, not the director or the writer. So why would you listen to an actor when he's the one that didn't write it? Because it's basically like his movie. Well, yes, yeah, it's his, it's his crying joy, but it's not. Hit technically his movie. Yeah, my favorite Christmas movie is the. Uh, I sort of already seen that before Christmas. I'm no, it's the right now. the Christmas story. Christmas story. Yeah. Huh. You don't know the Christmas story. I I don't know. Or a Christmas story. Is that the one with the Scrooge? No, no? that's a Christmas Carol. Oh, Christmas Carol. What the hell is a Christmas story? It's uh, 
about a young boy named Ralphie attempts to convince his parents, oh, teacher, and Santa to get him a Red Ryder BB gun for Christmas. Oh, no. That shitty movie. <laughs> yes. This is an amazing movie. Uh, that's debatable. It's n- not with the 8 out of 10 score. You know what they should have done? He should have kept... He should have been stuck on that pole for sticking his tongue to it. He should have stuck, been stuck there and died in the night, freezing to death. <laughs> is that terrible? Terrible. It's a little, a little terrible. A little terrible? A little terrible, yeah. Fine, right. but... <laughs> oh, that's just dreadful. No, it's you know a... what I'm thinking right now? I wonder if Christmas lies on a day we do the podcast. Let's, Let's find out. What day is Christmas? Is... Christmas is on a Tuesday. Ew, it's on an off day. Yeah. Ew. That's that's unfortunate. Christmas Eve is on a Monday, though. So. Oh, true. So that's a something right there. Now we just need to figure out about the sound tape. Thanksgiving's on a Thursday this year. Isn't Thanksgiving always on a Thursday now? Um, I don't know. Is it? I don't know. Halloween's on a Wednesday. Oh, hell yeah. Middle of Halloween the week. Halloween is Gross. my favorite holiday of all. Oh, uh, what else is going on this year? Let's see, it, that doesn't affect me any because I'm already graduating. You're still in school, you little whippersnappers. Like, you got to go to school. Joke's on you. I don't have school on Wednesday. But yeah, school on Thursday, you freaking loser. You don't know that. <laughs> that right there just proves to me that you have school on Thursday. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop out before Halloween. That's great. That's great. So I can drop go out. trick or treating and then I'll I'll rejoin. <laughs> trick or treat. Hi. Hey, can can I can I be let back into school? Uh, yeah, I had to, I had to go trick or treat and I didn't want to like have to get up for class the next day. Oh, Halloween was a great. Day. It's a great day for all. This is definitely a a day. I remember plenty of watching horror movies, Hocus Pocus, and drinking. Yeah, yeah. Hocus Pocus. That's a Halloween staple, right? I can't. It cannot be Halloween for me unless Hocus Pocus at some point during the day. That was definitely a Disney movie. Oh, it was a fantastic, and I love it. Oh, I'm still waiting for them to make a sequel. I don't know if I, I don't know if I want a remake. They made a sequel. That'd be great. Not not this time. Well, not right now. Uh, I don't think it needs a sequel. I think it does. If I don't you know. think so, please just, just jump out your window. <laughs> My opinion is law. No, 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 that that doesn't need one. I think it definitely needs one. You know what movie does not need one? Mission Impossible. No, Mission Impossible needs like three more. No, Mission Impossible needs to stop. Tom Cruise needs to be shitty. He's a shitty actor. <sighs> I don't like Tom Cruise as an actor, period. I don't. <gasps> Every movie would be better if Tom Cruise was. You're not allowed to say that. I just did. I don't like Tom Cruise oh, as an actor geez. or a person. Oh, jeez. I I have a I have a hatred for Tom. Apparently, I know it's deep rooted. And it's kind of ugly. <sighs> Just saying. You're not allowed to say that. That's Tom Cruise. The only movie that I could watch and stand Tom Cruise in Top is Gun? how you how did you know I was going to say that? How did I know you weren't going to say that? What? Okay, anyway, yeah, Top Gun. That's an okay movie. Take him right into that danger zone. It's still be better if Tom Cruise wasn't in it. But it's before Tom Cruise became Tom Cruise. It's a Tom Cruise movie. Tom Cruise has to be in it. Tom Cruise is just a horrible actor. And I wish the Mission Impossible movies would stop. I haven't even I've, seen one I mean, of them. because This I just could don't... be the last one. Probably is. I hope he dies. 
<gasps> if he dies mm. at the end of it, I'll go see it. I mean, from the trailer, some of the uh, accidents he gets in looks like he shouldn't have survived them. But, you know, it's like movie, every movie, movie, movie logic. It's like every Mission Impossible movie. Like. It's an accident that a normal person would not survive. Or not. But he's Tom Cruise. You know, I do wish the mummy killed him in the mummy. I'm just waiting for the uh, the big monster movie. Was that in 2019, 2020? Which one? The one with Godzilla and King Kong. Oh, God. Yes. I want that now. Right? I love Godzilla and King Kong. Like there, there's been some good movies this summer, though. Like what? Besides Marvel and... De- besides anything aside... Deadpool. Well, besides Deadpool, Infinity War, Jurassic World, Ant-Man and the Wasp. Man, the Wasp. Uh, this, this next weekend, I'm probably going to watch... Probably... Because this comes out on a Friday. Probably on Saturday, I'm going to go watch um, Unfriended, The Dark uh, Yeah, that, that one... Seemed interesting though. I thought I, the first I, one was supposed to be like paranormal. The first one was paranormal, kind of. This one's more of a realistic approach. Not yeah. as it made the sequel, but it's not in any way connected to the first film. It's just first it's film. it's just its world is called Unfriended. Yeah. It's like a anthology movie but series. It, it doesn't seem like that title works for me though, because the first one's called Unfriended, and you're like, okay, because it was with the friend and there was social network things going on. It's unfriended in this one because they get a friend in a call that will leave. And you can't un- add unfriend him. Ha! 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 I get it. What was that movie called? Uh, I don't remember what it was called. It was this guy. He was He's trying to look for his daughter and he's using, it gets all searched. Yeah, I think so. That one it comes, looks. It comes out later on this year. That one looks good. That one looks pretty good. Not really a horror movie, but that one looks pretty. Good. It's not like a horror mystery. movie, but it's a, yeah, it's a mystery movie. But yeah, I'm totally going to see Unfriended Dark Web because that one actually looks. Good. The uh, first one Tag, was Tag. Tag was a good movie. I never saw Tag. Didn't see. It. Eventually, just, I will. It's a good movie. Yeah. Need more horror movies. Give us Halloween. I want to see that. Freddy Blumhouse, uh, give it to me. No, I just want to see my uh, Freddy Fazbear. Yes, that too. Oh my god, I will die. See, I will five, be there. My five nights at Fredworth's. Wow. I would be in that movie theater with a bunch of kids. And kids, you're going to get scarred for life, okay? going to go in with, go get a Freddy costume. I don't know about that. That'd be creepy. That'd be that'd be a bit much. You're going to a scary movie. It's gotta be a little creepy. <gasps> also, Slenderman comes out next I month. Still, I still feel like that one is just. It should have came out like eight years ago. It should have came out a long time ago. Because there's no it popularity to that character it. anymore. I mean, there's still a diehard fan base of Pop myself it does look good it looks very artsy fartsy and i'm awful sure but like compared to when like that game came out and everyone was going crazy over it true they made a movie well granted it wasn't owned by a company back then because the guy who owned the character wouldn't sell it until like two or three years ago when he was released obviously sold it. Did someone owned the character i thought it was just a no there's one guy there's one guy that owned the character back in the day the guy who created it, and they sold it. Uh, well. And it sucks, because I was going to use him on a project. And I found out at that point, I decided to look into it and see if he was still like owned by one person on the internet and everyone else could use him, or was he owned by a company, and it turns out he's owned by a company. And I'm just like, what the fuck? That was back in like 2014, 2013. A while, it was a while after the whole uh, game craze. Like, he sold it. 
Right. And now they're making a movie out of it. And I was like, hey, Barbie. Because if it's a good movie, it's people are going to go watch a good horror movie. So hopefully it is a good movie. Oh, I finally watched Rampage. <clears throat> How'd that go? It was fun. Oh, it was a, it was a, it was, it was not very memorable, but it was a fun ride. Yeah, like it wasn't, it wasn't horrible. No, I, I, I still need to see Skyscraper. Yeah, well, that one just came out. I know. Yeah, that that would be that would be fun to go see. I need to see Skyscraper. I need to see Unfriended. That comes out this weekend. I yeah. need to see the. The Nun comes out in September, which, oh, oh geez, have you seen the new poster for The Nun? No. It looks so good. God damn it. Hey, watch your language. I worship Satan. <laughs> Apparently. Uh, it's not good for you, you know. I mean, it's good for the soul. <laughs> not, no, it's it's the exact opposite. No, oh, that's what I need in my life, Satan. And he needs to warm up my soul. I need to get nice and toasty. Ugh, heat. Gross. True. Needs win- I need winter to come back around. Come on. Start beginning to look like Christmas again. You do know Texas doesn't get cold until, like, January. It still snowed last year. That's all I need. I mean, it snowed the day before I graduated. In it, snowed, it snowed enough to make a decent snowman. Oh, God, yes. I was outside that night until, like, 3 in the morning. Or oh, two. Yeah. I made Hell, a the whole campus snowman. was alive. With the sound of music? Oh, yeah. I was walking out of my apartments because we were right next door. Yeah, a bunch of my friends were walking around, and all of a sudden, everybody from the dorms was all out in the snow, throwing snowballs at each other, scaring the crap out of each other, doing stupid shit. So people, like, some people what, were what is this? What is this white... Demon stuff falling from the sky. It's hell. Just, just what happens when you bring snow to a southerner? They freak out. Mm-hmm. But it was a great way to end my college career. It was, it was Mother Nature's gift to me. And it's and basically, it's basically when it seniors. starts raining in a movie and it's supposed to be all emotional. That's what. That, that's basically what it was. Because like I was just. We are having a good time because I was just hanging out with one of my fr- friends and we were getting stuff ready for graduation and just kind of hanging out for one last night because I was leaving literally the next day after graduation. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden we get we hear screaming outside because she lives in the dorms. And we're like, what the fuck? So we go outside. I go outside. I, actually, I can't remember if she went outside or what I went outside. I think she went outside first. And she's like, <gasps> damn it. And I'm like, what? And she's like, <gasps> it's. No and I'm like, you're shitting me. Don't fuck with me, bitch. You're shitting me, right? She's like, no, go outside. And I go outside and I make like a girly shriek. And I run back inside and, and I couldn't. I can, get I can see you making a girly shriek. Oh, I was shrieking like a goddamn little bitch because I put my shoes on so quickly. So quickly. And I was like, I gotta go. Snow's calling me. And then I called like everybody. And apparently it was snowing in where I was from. Four hours away, it was swimming there, too, apparently. Uh-huh. But I was like, oh, my boy, yes. No Mother Nature at work. And get it, it was great. Get it good. And then I had to go back, and I literally, we were outside for, like, three hours. It was great. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Throwing snowballs at each other, walking around campus, seeing the Christmas tree. Took a nice picture in front of the Christmas tree with my group of friends before we graduated. Oh, so and great. then everyone decided to... Ignore each other for the rest of your life. No, I still talk to a few to the ones that I, to uh-huh. the main to the main. I talked to two of them, the main right. two that be um really good friends. And I still talk to them every now and then. Like I was messaging one of them earlier and the other one yesterday, so I still have constant mm-hmm. talk. With How them. dare you? What you're ruining? You're ruining it. You're not supposed to keep in contact with people after you leave. Of course, I keep in contact with my friends. You're not one to lives keep... in. I mean, like, okay. Oh, I'm no. sorry. Well, two of them are like my two of my best friends. So one lives in Austin and one lives in Houston. It's like it's like grade school friends. As soon as you graduate high school. Well, yeah. I mean, I only talked to like one friend from high school. 
just one. <laughs> one that I see on the constant basis. Well, I haven't seen him what but probably the last month. I talked to him. Man, I haven't talked to any of them. He's the only one I really care about to talk to, so right. and then my college friends, I only talk to really two of them. And then you, unfortunately. But you know, Right, right, right. Because I'm forced to. I mean, you can leave. Oh, no, I'm not leaving my baby. Uh-uh. I mean, uh, this is just as much my baby as it is. Probably more my baby than it is yours. This is more yours. Huh? How is it more yours? Because I brought it to life and gave it the facelift. Uh-huh. 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 Sure. uh-huh. Hair sure. flip. Uh-huh. Hair flip with bald uh-huh. head. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Right, right. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, you can continue to think that. What would you do with me? You'd be like, hi guys, this is Bard. Yeah. Welcome to the podcast. Welcome I'm to just the, alone welcome in my, my podcast. Life. Sad. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about great things. <laughs> Important <laughs> things. Wow. Okay. I remember that. All right. Do it. You don't need me no more. That's cool. That's cool. I'll take my shit and go. Take your go and go. I'll take com- I'll take Comic Watch, Triple Helios, and the name Narakos. I'll go somewhere else. You don't have anywhere to go. I can make a new YouTube channel. You can't. I didn't sign no paperwork because I can take those names. You can't leave. Once you're here, you're, you're here like, forever. You're like, you're like four hours away. I can't leave. <laughs> Once you're here, you're here forever. I could leave you and never see me again. Well, I would never leave. Be a I meanie. Would I would never leave. I am the last be a one. Meanie. You will leave before I do. Watch, I ain't, I ain't going nowhere. Also, fun facts, I applied at Rooster Teeth again. Oh, oh did they uh, ignore you again? They ignored me the first two times. Nice. So they got two new editor jobs that opened up, and I applied for them again. They're going to know my name real quick. You to have to call them. I can't. They said, don't call. I'll contact you. And I'm just like, damn. <laughs> I'll, uh, trust me. And they didn't have that on there. I was going to call. I mean, that's that's fair. I, I can understand <laughs> them specifically saying, don't call us. Yeah, they literally say on the on the thing, don't call. We'll call you, or we'll contact you. And I'm just like, you lucky you put that. You damn right, I call you. I will call you every day. Be every like, day. I'd be like, like hey, you see my thing yet? Hey, you see my thing yet? Hey, I need a job. I need a job. So they're gonna know my name real quick because I'm gonna mm. apply for every editing position that comes open at Mr. Teeth. So Good. they might just give me an interview just because they're sick of seeing my name. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping for. But then you'll have the inside track. Oh, God damn. So one of the editing jobs is a, granted, a temporary one. It's a full-time temporary editing job. Right. Up until the end of 2018. So I would only have it for a couple months. <laughs> but but you know, I, mean, I guess that'll look good on the resume. Oh, God, yes, it would. I'm not, I don't care. I'll take that one. Grant, I don't get the health insurance or benefits, but full-time. And I would have it until probably the end of December. Unless they decide to hire me full time after that, but it's yeah, like that means you're gonna have to really pull out some stops. Either way, I'd be like, that'd be good to put on a resume. People would be like, oh, you worked for Rooster Teeth, a big corporation, mm-hmm. for ed- and you edited for them. Cool, we'll give you an interview. Yeah, because right now it's just student productions and names that people never heard of. Because I have my, I have my. Uh, I see you get in there. And I, I can, I can help you produce shows. I mean, I'm just an editor. So one no, of the shows, no, you, so, you you bring up your own ideas to help them with content. True. That, that's how the you one, that's how you show it. The one that's until the end of uh, 2018 is a editing job for advertising for their right. advertising of our their advertising branch, and then the other ones to be a permanent editor for a uh, for the no. Okay. And I'm like. Ooh. I like that show. I watch that show. I could probably yeah, I could edit that. that. That's definitely not hard editing. No, it's not. For the no? Yeah, it's just... It's, 
it's, front ca- it's front camera, lower thirds, and some B-roll. Hell yeah. And you get full-time health insurance, other perks that Rooster Teeth gets. Like, they do catering every Monday, apparently. They cater lunch every Monday, apparently. It's apparently. pet-friendly, apparently. And it was like, oh, God, that'd be a good first job. I just need them to give yeah. me a shot. Just let me in. So I have my resume, and then I sent them, like, a some of my work that I've worked on. Yeah. So it's like, I know it's all student stuff. But it's, like, give, it's like, you need two years experience. I'm like, I have over 10 years of experience of editing Starting just teaching to, myself. I didn't put the, that there. You have but. to go to the compound with the megaphone. Just let me in. Let, let me, me in. in. <laughs> yes. Oh, God. If I got that. Oh, man. You know what I do if I get a job at Rooster Teeth? Even if it was for the one till the end of 2018, it's I would walk in the Target. Oh, first, I'd be like, when do you want me to start? And they're, they're like, ASAP. And I'm like, girl, I got Done. you. So, you know what I do? I would walk my happy ass to my job right now. Mm-hmm. That I have, and I'd be like, I quit. And they'd be like, What was that? I quit. <laughs> I'm quitting you. Uh uh-uh. uh. I'm quitting. Like, when you're two weeks? No. no. You, I'm leaving like right now. Goodbye. Right. As I just do that whole peace out and fade into mm-hmm. the ether. Exactly. Just dissolve, just cross dissolve out. Well, I'm, well, actually, I might do the last shift because. My coworker last week did that, where she's like, oh, "I quit," and she just deuced out and finished her shift and left. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's and now it's, there's only it's fun to do it to like the management, but it's kind of a dick move to coworkers. Yeah, so I might finish the last shift, but my, but if I were to work there and they need me, and most likely they probably need somebody at ASA for at least what the description sounded. Mm-hmm. It sounded very much like we need an editor now. So I, mean, I, I, I would probably, I probably quit and just be like, "This is my last day." Yeah, it's my yeah. last day. And I'd be going to better, doing better things. Better, with, greener pastures. Hopefully, I, mean, I would love for, to at least get an interview. That'd be amazing. Well, you just gotta keep trying. But then I would have to drive like an hour and a half every day. So, I mean, if it's the full time, I'll probably end up moving up. Otherwise, if it's the half time, not the half time, but the one until the end of 2018 mm-hmm. every day, get a car finally, and then drive up there. I will too. I will too. I will drive up there every single day. I will know Austin the back of my hand when I. Oh, yeah. Because I think their compounds in the north end of the city, so it's like much longer to get to. But can, I go get that, to can go get that tent. Stay Hell on the parking yeah. lot. <laughs> Hell yeah! I and mean, be like, "You want me here, girl? I got you." And I'll got leave. You. I'll leave uh, here like at five. Well, more like five thirty. There you go. I'd be out before six and go at five thirty, and I would. My goal is to would I would get there about seven thirty. Have you ever watched the sunrise? Yes, I do every morning. Every morning on my commute to work. Where do you work in Austin? Where do you live? San Antonio. You're like, oh, uh, <laughs> like, oh my! <laughs> How do you do it? I spend oh. most of my paycheck on gas. Oh god, that would kill me. <laughs> See, eventually I would move up there if I were you would have to a job. Yeah, because I can't commute. Like that. That's ridiculous. You're gonna have to live <laughs> out of your car for a few weeks before you can get your paycheck. Oh no, I'll probably live at home still and commute. And then when I get my paycheck, for like the first, if it's a full time job, if it's the one until the end of 2018, I'll just have to suffer. Right. There's no point in moving out up there when my job ends. I know for sure I'm gonna get full-time and just stay there then after that in december i'll just i'll be like cool january okay cool bye and just move up there otherwise but yeah it's full-time yeah, just, i'm gonna yeah, yeah, leave no. mm-hmm. God, you just gotta keep trying for stuff i mean 
Yep, and I applied for Rooster Teeth, and I applied for a couple other places, and I'm like, somebody give me a chance. Just uh, call me, email me, email me. Yeah. My <laughs> I know my craft. I can do it. I can do things. It'd be great. I'm a special effect. Like there, need, there needs to be a trial thing instead of, like, like trying to put together a portfolio. It's like, all right, here's a USB stick. On there is video files. Oh, no, I'm sure edit. they do do that. It's like, edit this into something. Oh, I'm sure they do do that. that that'd be an amazing way. Oh, God, because I'd rock it. Like, get, you got me a script and the footage and the audio. Oh, yeah. And the um, images and the assets. Oh, I got you, fam. I can do it. Give me, like... Well, that, they probably... I yeah, you. no, I'm be like, give you just, like... Here's, like, the hard audio and, and footage. I'm just, like, here, like okay. and, and here, and here's a main idea of what we're looking for. Okay. I'm like, do I have a script? Yes, you do. Cool. I got you, fam. I got it. Done. Done. No question. I'd be like, I got you, fam. Come back tomorrow. Like, all right, you got you got a week to get this together. Come back tomorrow morning. All right, here I'm, you here go. Here you go. <laughs> what do you mean? You got, it, you got it done already? I have not uh-huh. slept since yeah. I've, <laughs> I have not slept since I woke up yesterday. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. That's exactly what would, I would do, too. I would sit all night, making sure it's perfect. Looking exactly like the no to a T. Oh, I would. It'd be me. I'd be like, that better. Yes. And then be like, when can you start? I'm like, whispering like, the As soon as I take ear. a nap. <laughs> and I whisper to the manager's ear, as soon as I take a nap and quit my other job. <laughs> and they're like, yeah. And I walk out there going, woo! Yeah. And you're just like, yeah. You know, like, throwing your fist in the air and everyone's starting like yeah just slow clap oh my gosh oh my gosh i was your bird the whole time <laughs> having that moment i feel like you're gonna start getting upset <laughs> uh-huh. just just like like yeah that's a good <laughs> dream oh well i gotta get up to work tomorrow <laughs> i do i open it <laughs> I gotta go to work right after class. Uh, I hope I get it. It'd be nice. It'd be a good opportunity. I hope I I get something too. You still got school there, sir. You've got time. Yeah, like one more semester. So next fall, you graduate? I should be done by the end of next spring. Oh, oh okay. So it's semester, not year. I see. I see. Yeah. So the start of next summer, I should I should be a a smart college kid. Educated. Mm-hmm. <sighs> and then I'll then... I'll work on starting my career as something or another. Yeah. <laughs> but then I will just kind of fade into the ether. And I haven't die. haven't worked on the uh, what do after part yet because we had a squad well everyone remember just keep trying some someone will give you a chance just keep trying yep and thank you for joining us on our attempts to keep trying (laughs) on our attempts to keep trying i think we've been doing this podcast for over an hour yeah no it's time it's time to go yeah, it's time to go. Okay, cool. So everyone, get out. Get out. Don't go. let the door hit you where the good Lord split you. you. Go. Get. 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 Get.